Nakum is uh, one of the most important archaeological archaeological sites of ancient Mayan culture in northeast Guatemala. It lies about 24 kilometers from uh, Tikal, one of the most uh, biggest Mayan centers. From 2006, uh, archaeological excavations at Nakum are directed by Polish archaeologists from Jagiellonian University, docent Jarosław Zrałka and uh, Magister Wiesław Koszku. From years uh, 2012, to 2016, there were conducted several uh, geophysical surveys with ground penetrating radar and uh, electrical resistivity methods. Before, uh, on Mayan, on Mayan uh, grounds, geophysics were just uh, conducted only at uh, few sites uh, like Caminal Curium and, and Baul, uh, which were surveyed with GPR or uh, La Blanca, uh, there were uh, use of magnetometer method, and Uak uh, Shaktun, uh, where uh, was uh, conducted electrical resistivity methods. Um, and uh, <coughs> later the geophysics uh, were conducted on just a few sites, and uh, that uh, shows uh, how small uh, percent uh, of uh, non-invasive uh, um, geophysical methods were uh, made uh, on Mayan uh, sites. So uh, one of the main purposes of our geophysical surveys in Nakum was to check how useful uh, these non-invasive methods can be uh, in Mayan lower lands. Uh, as well, we tried to do some archaeological uh, verification of the results. Be some about Nakum. Uh, Nakum was first uh, discovered in Guatemala jungle in year uh, 905 by a French uh, aristocrat uh, Maurice de Peregrini, and uh, he made some uh, basic plans. After that, uh, just uh, a few uh, researchers. Uh, were um, mapping uh, Nakum till um, year about to early 1920s and then it was abandoned for about 50 years when uh, Nicolas uh, Helmut in uh, early 70s uh, is back at the site he is doing two reconnaissances and uh, makes uh, upta updated reports for Guatemalan Institute of Anthropology and History. Um, and uh, from uh, 2006, uh, excavations, uh, regular excavations, there are made uh, by uh, Polish scientists. Um, on this photo, so you can see how challengeable can be work uh, there. Mm. Okay. More about Nakum. Nakum um, consists of two main sectors: the uh, north sector and south sector. They are connected with uh, Kalsada. Uh, it is. Uh, 250 meters long route and uh, it is uh, 26 meters wide and both sectors are uh, extended on natural elevations uh, it is located near the Holmu river which uh, in pre-Columbian times was an important uh, communication route and source of water in this part of Mayan lands the northern uh, sector forms a large square uh, surrounded by several buildings uh, and uh, complexes with uh, large pyramid, uh, the pyramid X, which you can see on this photo, how it looks now. 
and um, the south uh, sector um, uh, consists of uh, two wide extensive uh, centers uh, named uh, Central Square and uh, Eastern Square um, with uh, some smaller uh, courtyards and uh, the great uh, complex of uh, Acropolis. Now, um, and uh, on Acropolis, uh, the complex uh, is uh, erected on a huge platform and uh, have around uh, 12 smaller patios. Okay, now so about geophysics. Um, first method what uh, was uh, used in NACUM was uh, GPR, just um, basics of uh, use uh, of GPR, it usually consists of uh, two antennas, with one is uh, sending electromagnetic waves, the uh, second one is receiving it. And uh, we used uh, their antennas, uh, one was uh, 500 uh, megahertz, and second one was uh, 200. Um, as well, we had uh, uh, some uh, lower uh, antenna with uh, 250 megahertz. Unfortunately, it was damaged uh, during transport, so we couldn't use it. We um, set up uh, on the whole uh, uh, sectors of NACUM several uh, GPR profiles which uh, some of them was uh, as well uh, verified uh, through excavations. As well, we tried to verify it with uh, electrical resistivity. And um, we uh, divided the results on um, six types of uh, anomalies. Um, we are illustrated on, on this uh, table. Uh, but uh, the most uh, interesting anomalies uh, for us was anomalies type uh, F, uh, char characteristic uh, of void spaces such as tombs, crypts, uh, sacrificial uh, deposits, as well as anomalies of type A, which may reflect the occurrence of walls and other architectural relics, especially under uh, the floors of squares. As well, um, one uh, part of our research was uh, to make uh, um, GPR on uh, places which were excavated before just uh, to check uh, how uh, deep uh, machine can penetrate the ground. So we conducted uh, GPR on uh, top of Pyramid uh, 14, where uh, in 2006 uh, <laughs> was discovered uh, a chamber with uh, Baryon. Unfortunately, um, there, the results, they are showing some kind of anomalies, but uh, it was just to two meters deep, as uh, the grave chamber was about 40 meters long. As well, um, we conducted uh, some uh, geophysical uh, profiles on the uh, other pyramid in northern sector on pyramid X mm -hmm. and um, as well the central uh, chamber was excavated uh, before and there were found uh, two graves so uh, we set up uh, geophysical profiles on the east uh, uh, chamber which uh, we thought that there might be burial as well. 
-hmm. This were the results uh, of ecograms, which again shows nothing for us. But a uh, couple of uh, years later, uh, it was excavated and uh, we found the, the grave as well. So, unfortunately, uh, on the top of the pyramids, uh, the GPR showed us uh, nothing. And um, we think it's, it might be uh, caused uh, because of uh, porosity of uh, hoar uh, limestone, which is there, and probably uh, that uh, big porosity connected with uh, humid uh, climate um, deposits uh, a lot of water in this limestone and it might uh, dump the um, electromagnetic waves from GPR. As well, uh, we conducted a lot of uh, profiles on uh, several patios and uh, they were excavated later. And uh, in this case, um, we found uh, some tunnels as well uh, as channel, but uh, all uh, these excavations uh, they were just to about uh, two meters down, so that's why probably uh, GPR showed something. This is um, as uh, well the channel which was uh, draining uh, water from uh, Acropolis, and uh, on uh, we can see uh, how it goes from south to north and uh, the results uh, were seen on mm, GPR uh, ecograms. As well, um, some uh, retaining walls. And some tunnels. Everything from uh, results from Patio. The second uh, geophysical uh, research what we conducted was uh, electrical resistivity. And um, we made uh, the survey with uh, Polish uh, device. It's called uh, ADA 5TR uh, and it's uh, made by Polish company Elmas. Uh, it's um, device for shallow geophysics and uh, it's uh, quite good because uh, you can set up uh, several different uh, um, electrode uh, systems as well as uh, um, it can collect data from one depth or uh, from several depths like uh, on archaeological profiles. Uh, so, um, we set up uh, two grids on the uh, north uh, part of Nakum. One uh, grid, uh, it was on the axis of a uh, structure called uh, Bastion, mm -hmm. and the second one um, on the uh, northern group. Um, for uh, electrical resistivity, we uh, used uh, mostly twin probe system, which is the most uh, common uh, electrode system in archaeology. And uh, it can give fair re results to about one meter, um, maybe sometimes two, if, I think, uh, if the geology is um, good for it. Um, as well we've done the electrical uh, resistivity tomography which uh, like I said it shows us um, some kind of profile. These are the results from the northern uh, grid at the north group. Just we can see some high resistivity anomalies which uh, we connected uh, with some walls and uh, we did it, excavated it. 
but on the uh, southern uh, grid next to Bastion, we've conducted uh, research. First one uh, was uh, with uh, spacing one by my, uh, one by one meter, and we were interested in this anomaly because. Uh, it was uh, exactly on the axis of uh, previously found Stella. Then uh, we repeated uh, research with the spacing uh, half meter by half meter, which showed um, these uh, anomalies. So we, forgot, uh, we thought it might be some structure. And uh, after excavating, it, we found uh, some kind of uh, granary, uh, which was on the um, floor, which was made uh, by human, it's not natural. Um, as well, um, we conducted uh, three profiles, like this red line here, and um, it's not so good seen, but one profile is here, and as well. And uh, this is uh, uh, Stella, which is on axis uh, of uh, this uh, building. And uh, we knew that here uh, was some tools, uh, which we know from the previous years. That's why we uh, conducted this profiles here and uh, here, just uh, to check if the uh, tunnels were continuing. These are the results. They are showing uh, some kind of anomaly here, and it's probably the same anomaly here, which we connected uh, with tunnel. Um, after excavating, uh, um, it was discovered that this tunnel was a draining channel from uh, Mayan sauna, which was uh, located there. The last uh, profile was on the bastion and um, as well we found it, uh, this anomaly which uh, actually we didn't know what is it <laughs> but uh, after excavations um, we found it was a huge, uh, huge uh, post hole uh, cut in, uh, in the floor of, uh, the, on the top of the bastion. This how it looks in C2. And um, conclusions uh, of our research. Um, <coughs> no doubt that uh, geophysical methods uh, there can be very useful. Unfortunately, uh, still uh, we need uh, to. Um, uh, choose uh, good uh, methods for uh, um, all this uh, climate and geology uh, there. Uh, however, this is uh, an area that should be constantly developed and uh, as well with use of other uh, geophysical methods which uh, haven't been tested there. Um, also, uh, uh, making uh, large-scale uh, geophysics on this site uh, might uh, tell us much more about uh, all my archaeology. Okay, thank you for your attention.